everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by always thank you for your love and support compliments of the season merry christmas and happy new year in advance today i share with you how to make this lovely gorgeous christmas hearing if you want to see how i make it keep watching the materials needed are listed on the screen now cut a reasonable amount of fire lines so you don't have to be joining the lines all right pick two seed bead okay pull it down leave little amount of um a fire line all right at this point what i'm going to do now i'm going to pass we have two beads all right I'll pass my line through just one bead, like so, and pull it. So, once I pull it, this is what you have, all right? Both seed bead now is on a straight line, just like so, okay? Now, after pulling it down, I'm going to pass my working line through this bead, through the first bead like so and pull it after pulling it the next thing to do is to knot okay we are going to knot it so i did the knotting for three times all right and that is that once you knot it please don't cut it out yet don't cut it just leave it and continue working Okay, so after knotting, I'll pass my working line, this is my working line, through the second bead, okay? This bead, like so, and pull it. After pulling it, pick one green seed bead, pass your line through the bead from the back side of where your working line is coming out from like so and pull it this is what you have now this is our line pass it through the bead you just added like so this is where your line is coming out from okay pick one bead pass your line from the back of the bead you just added, pull it. This is the bead you just added. Pass your line through the bead and pull it. So this is what you have. This is where your line is coming out from. Pick one bead. Pass it through the bead you just added, you recently added, like so. Pull it. This is it. Walk your line through the bead you just added, like so, and pull it. Pick one bead. This is your fire line. Pass your needle through it like so. Pull it. Pass your needle back through the bead. Pull it. It's as simple as that. So this is what we have. Now you continue the process until you get to 12 beads, okay? to 12 beads so a bead to 12 point to 12 beads okay this is it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve as you can see so this is where our line is coming out from the last bead now we have lines that is the thread that we are using all, all over the top of the beads as you can see it don't know if it is clear you can see that so now what we are going to do now 
is to pick two beads pick up two beads like so hope it's clear now we have two beads this is where our fire line is coming out from now skip this first thread and walk your line through the second thread hope it's clear skip this one and walk through the second one not the bead now the thread is what we are working with now okay and then pull it now after pulling it just have a look at it this is what you should be able to get this is the two bead we recently added okay so the next thing to do after that work your needle through this bead the second bead the bead okay and pull it now this is it now once that is done the next thing to do is to pick one bead walk your line through the next thread the next fire line okay as you can see then pull it after pulling it you walk your line your needle through the same bead you just added like so and pull it Don't worry, we are going to have a straight line. It's going to be clear. It's just because it's still small. Okay? So after pulling it, this is what you have. The next thing to do, pick one bead, work your line through the next thread. The next thread to the bead. Okay? Like so. And pull it. This is it. After pulling it, you work your needle back through the bead you recently added and pull it. This is it. So the next thing now we are going to do is to pick one bead, work your needle through the next line, then pull it. After pulling, walk your needle back through the bead you just picked and pull it. After pulling it, this is what your work should look like, okay? So I'm going to continue this process until I get to the last thread, to the last fire line right here, okay? So I've walked to this point. This is the last fire line okay this is the last thread as you can see now i pick one bead and pass it through the line through the thread okay and pull it so i'm going to work my line back through the bead into the bead like so and pull it so as you can see, we have worked this um, the second row. Okay, we have two rows now. All right. So my line is coming out from the last bead here. The next thing to do is to pick two bead. Okay, as we like we have been working. Okay, skip the first line, skip this first line, and work your needle through the second line okay and then you pull it after pulling it this is what your work should look like the next thing to do is to pass your needle through the second bead up like so and then pull it so once you pull it the once you pull it like so as you can see both line now is sitting on the first both bead, sorry, both bead now is sitting on the first line and the second line. So this is where our line is now. The next thing to do is to pick, pick one bead and work your line through the next line and pull it. 
after pulling it work your needle back through the bead you just added and then pull it as well so at this point i'm going to introduce other colors the white and the red okay so i pick i pick up one red color and i'm going to pass my line through the next my needle through the next line okay and pull it the same way we have been working i'll pass my needle back through the bead we just added and pull it now i pick one green bead pass my needle through the next line pull it after pulling it work your needle back through the bead you just picked and then pull it as well this is what your work should look like the same process i pick one bead pass my needle through the next line pull it once that is done pass your needle through the bead you just added pull it now i'm going to introduce the second color i pick up one white bead and i'm going to pass my line my needle through the next line pull it once that is done I'll pass my needle back through the bead we just added, pull it. Now, the purpose of adding this white and red color in a beautiful earring is to have um, these Christmas colors, okay? You know Christmas has to do with green, white, red, I think black as well, okay? So this is it. So you can just add the colors anywhere you want it to be just to beautify it like christmas tree okay so now i'll pick one green then pass my line through the next my needle through the next line through the next line and pull it so this is it now i repeat the same process pick one green bead pass my needle through the next line and pull it then my needle back through the bead we just added pick one green bead then i'll pass my line my needle through the last line pull it then i pass my needle back through the bead we just added and pull it so now we have worked the third roll so if you count okay the first row that we started with is 12 bead now the second row has to be 11 followed by 10 followed by 9 followed by eight so this is the process we are going to work with until we get to the last point okay so to continue i pick two bead okay skip the first line and work your needle through the second line and then pull it down as you can see then work your needle back through the second bead and pull it i hope this video is clear enough and if you are still watching my video to this point thank you so much kindly give this video a thumbs up leave me your comment compliments of the season and if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome kindly hit on the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified anytime i drop a new video a lovely video like this one okay so i'm going to continue this process until i get to the last point okay so you can see how i'm adding the colors 
you see that so you can choose to add as much as possible depending on how colorful you want it to be okay so i still continue the same process that we have been using i pick one bead then i pass my my needle through the next line pull it then i'll pass my needle back through the bead i just added pull it so you see i'm going to continue the same process until i get to the to the top okay to the top yeah to the top <laughs> until i get to the top okay so what do you think don't you think you are supposed to give this video a thumbs up or you don't like this give this video a thumbs up okay so i've um i've been to this point okay i've been to this point as you can see so we have two lines remaining we have two lines remaining so at this point you know you don't need to pick one one bead okay you know we always start with two bead anytime we get to this point so the thing is just to do what pick up two bead as you can see then skip the first one just work your needle through the second line like so and pull it and this is the point we are working to as you can see okay we are not going to cover the top because that is where we are going to fix our hearing okay so what i'm going to do now is just to double the line here I want to double the line here where we are going to fix our hearing. So what I'm going to do is to pass my needle through the beads. So I'll walk through the beads for like two to three times, okay? Back to it again, back to this bead. Again back to the bead you see it just to pass your line for like two to three times so i walk my line from this point through the whole of this side bead until i come out from the last bead here i don't know if that is clear okay if you don't understand just watch me okay i walk my line through the whole of this bead you see that and pull it so my working line is coming out from here at this point this is the time i can cut out this fire line so i want to cut out this line but to cut it before i cut it i'm going to secure it you know this is where we not okay so i'm not just going to cut it like i always say in my tutorial don't cut your fire line where you not you have to secure it to pre to protect your knotting okay so so to do that, I pass the line, okay, into the bead and I'm going to secure it by passing it through some beads. So I'm just going to cut it. I've secured it, then I cut it out. So this is what we have okay this is what we have see how beautiful it is so this is where our fire line is now the last bead okay so now in this line i'm going to insert 20 beads 20 seed beads so this is it i've inserted 20 seed bead okay it is 20 seed bead now i'll pull it after pulling it down like so the next thing I'm going to do is to skip three bead. I'll skip this three bead. One, two, three. Skip this three bead. And I'll walk my needle through the rest of the beads from the fourth bead. Then I'll walk my needle through the rest of it like so. So I walk my needle through the rest of the beads then pull it very well pull it tight this is how the tip is going to be 
so i pull it so tight so the next thing is i work my needle through the last bead okay then i will pass my needle into the next bead you know we are done with the first bead then my needle i'll pass it through the next bead beside it downward like so and pull it this is what we are looking for now our needle or our line is now in the next bead so i'm going to insert 20 beads into it again so i've inserted 20 beads into the line okay now i'm going to skip three beads okay one two three and walk my needle through the rest of the beads down to the bead down to the second bead like so pull it as you can see okay now i'm going to pass my needle through the third bead through the third bead like so now my line is in the third bead so i will insert 20 beads so i insert 20 beads like we did for the first and second ones keep these three beads walk your line through the rest of the beads back to the third bead like so and pull it so this is it now i'm going to pass my needle through the fourth bead like so pull it down then i will insert 20 beads also and we are going to continue this process okay we are going to continue this same process until i get to the last bead here okay continue inserting 20 beads in each roll okay until we get to the last bead here and we meet together all right so we are beat to this point okay so this is the last roll of the bead so i'm going to insert 20 beads in the end eight so i've inserted 20 beads skip this three bead then walk through the rest of the bead exactly the way we have been doing okay down to the last bead okay then pull it so this is it guys okay this is it see how beautiful the fringes look like now i'm going to walk my line through some beads at this point we are going to note i'll walk it through some beads so after passing my line to this point as you can see i'll just knot so i will knot it by passing it through the lines once you are done knotting you secure the line okay by passing it through some beads all right so that's what i'm doing So at this point, I'm just going to cut out the rest of the line. So this is it. See how beautiful it is. So now we are going to fix our hearing, our 
hair hook okay so here we are going to fix our hair hook to it to do that all you need to do is to just open this part open it like so and then pass it through the lines We are done with our Christmas hearing the fringes. See how beautiful the fringes look like? Hey, thank you all. Thank you all for watching my video to this point. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for your support. If you are here to give this video a thumbs up, what are you waiting for? Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and I would love to read your comments in the comment section. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.